Yes, guys, so we have finally made it to another reaction on this uh, Mr. Lix reaction, uh, guys. Big up all yourself for definitely tuning in to another Vibrations. And, of course, I'll be dropping yet another one on the BRBPTV YouTube platform, for which I do think you guys want to definitely tune in to that one for certain a bit later on, brothers and sisters. So, welcome to this uh, Vibrations. And, of course, guys, don't forget to do what? Click the thumbs up button, smash that like button. I would appreciate that right there and then on this uh, video. If you're on your, your, your TV or stuff, scroll along and smash that. Click the remote. Boom, bam, bang, brothers and sisters. <laughs> I do appreciate that right there. And then, of course, guys, I'm going to give my thoughts on a number of things taking place in this year's video. And, of course, for you as well, leave your thoughts in the comment box below. A number of you guys tend to always message me on WhatsApp when it comes on to the videos. I would urge you guys to also leave your thought process in the comment box below. It's not just for me that you're also sharing information. You also want to share information with other people as well. So leave your thought process. And I'm sure that a number of persons also tend to watch the the comments as well not just i so definitely guys watch uh leave your thoughts in the comment box below on the things that we're going to be talking about on this year channel and the next one a bit later on so with that said guys without further ado let us get into the vibrations today right there and then now this is an individual brothers and sisters who is going to share something about let's talk sheen and dominica businesses all right brothers and sisters i already know where this is going so let us continue right there you can never tell me you buying things on sheen mm -hmm. you buy you buy things on Sheen for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, even fifteen US. Eh? Some even dollar ninety nine. Yes, some girls meet me. Hey, uncle. yeah, dollar ninety nine on Sheen. That's or two ninety nine on Sheen. That's crazy. But hey, they would come down. Dominic can do what? Businesses. That's how Dominic can roll it. I don't lie. Anyways, let's continue right here. And you want to come and sell something for me for ninety dollars, <laughs> one hundred dollars? You see? You okay? No, when she's saying that, brothers and sisters, I'm thinking to myself, maybe it's customs. Well, sometimes people go over there and buy their stuff and bring it on or have their family members bring it on stuff for them. And they still come in and sell it at a high price, which is very interesting. I mean, it's not like you're modifying the dress or readdressing the dress or doing whatever you're doing with the clothing. And then you just come in and sell the item that you probably bought for $5 on Sheen. $150. This is not the only place, you know, brothers and sisters, that I noticed this. It's not just Sheen. I've noticed other businesses when it comes down to electronics. I remember seeing an, an uh, AC fan. It doesn't really blow AC. You just put water in it. And because of the electrical component, it's cooling the water and it's blowing it on you. So it, it blows a little cooler. I remember seeing that for $29 on Amazon. I saw it in Dominica in a particular business place in Rose, brothers and sisters. For $300! So it's not... <laughs> Maybe it's, it's customs are doing that. I don't know. But if the thing costs $29, that's about, what, $65 around there, give or take? $70. Okay, you say, okay, customs, okay, you sell the thing for $150. Right? You're trying to make a little profit. EC dollars, we're talking about. From about $75, $70, $75 EC to about $150 after customs charge you probably uh, $20, $30, whatever for that item. So you have to make a little profit and stuff. You sell it for 300 and something dollars. Anyways, let's get back to Auntie right there. Because tell me why I just, I literally just come out on the side because I was looking for, you know, little bags for carnival and whatever. And I see a bag and I put in my cart. And then I scroll it on Instagram. And I'm calling the business team, not really. That one from with me, I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. I scroll on Instagram and I see the same bag. For $90. <laughs> All over there. Because I understand you as a small business, you want to make your money. Obviously, you are a business. A business is looking to make a profit. Well, it seems like they're looking to get rich. You know, profit they're trying to make. They're looking to get rich. And it's not just one place I saw that electronics, you know, brothers and sisters. <laughs> I, I can relate because I had the same item. I bought the item and I go into another business place, apparently in Kenfield somewhere, brothers and sisters. I know calling their name. <laughs> I go there and I, I check about with how I bought that is the same item and I go in my vehicle and I watch the thing and I watch I say no sir the thing is almost eight hundred dollars we eight hundred dollars for an item I pay seventy something US dollars for we I say no boy I say no boy is either the business wicked or customs wicked or both of them wicked brothers and sisters because it seems like that is a culture in other culture in dominica to buy items cheap and come and sell it dominica expensive 
<laughs> I had a little small business before. I used to do that to take things from Sheen and sell it. But not like that, no game. If I get the bag for five dollars, maybe forty dollars, something like thirty five dollars, forty dollars, and then things to go because obviously Dominicans choosing where and how they're spending their money. We don't like to just not all of us like to just offer our money, you know. Yeah, some of us don't like to just throw money like that. Some of all, hey Jam, let me just throw my money. The carnival season coming up, brothers and sisters. People are going to be buying bikini looking outfits for thousands of dollars. I myself don't understand what kind of what kind of material boy you mad. That's material you have to make boomerang with it, brothers. I think you can decorate your house with afterwards. We? What you mean? To buy an item that looks like a bikini for thousands of dollars. <laughs> and it's not just Dominica, you know, it's happening all over the place. A friend of mine told me she bought a thing for almost what six thousand. Six thousand. She she had plenty of money, so she can do <laughs> anyways. So my shit was going because I had it. Or maybe that was for the whole package or something. I don't know. But that is what she I remember she telling me. You know, I was in Trinidad. She went down to Trinidad and yeah. That's crazy. And, but you cannot tell me. Just, you cannot tell me and I'll put the picture. You can put the picture. What is that? Uh... And brothers and sisters, as I see that there, let me let me let me let me make a statement now, please, ladies. Some of all you might see this on other bodies that not looking like your body at all, and say, "Boy, I'm going to look like that." Man, if I buy, no, no, you're not going to look like that. Your body have to be like that to look like that. You can't have me looking like a bear can, and you think you're going to look like this, huh? Eh? No, no, you're not gonna... <laughs> no, no, <laughs> you never. And see some people are some kind of a la, a la. Why did that does, does life for women like that? Woman thinking their body just like that way, and say what? No, boy, going to get that small size when you say extra large. <laughs> no boy. <sighs> Anyways, not that she's talking about. <laughs> so apparently they're selling that thing for ninety dollars. Uh, your items, Papa. Ladies, if your your stomach not like that, and you know your stomach looking like it can anchor, ladies, please. No, no. no. Jeez. <laughs> That's not the point. You cannot tell me the bag online for eight US. It on sale for ninety. For on it sale, <laughs> so <laughs> it on sale we for ninety US boy. That's crazy. Something that costs less than thirty dollars is on ninety dollars. Yes, I. And you sell the bag ninety dollars. No, all you. I have to show all you like eight US by two sixty seven. It's twenty one dollars at change. Mm -hmm. Eight US by two seventy one. Is twenty one dollars on change another. <laughs> you think making me stick. Anyways, yes. Next one. Six US by two sixty seven is seventeen dollars and change. It by two seventy one. Seventeen dollars and change. The next one is But we don't we, I'm sure maybe some of these items come through customs. You know, I think we need to weigh in the fact of customs right there. But I don't think it should be that expensive. If the item like you said it costs less than twenty five dollars on the basis which makes sense it costs less than $25 when it comes on to the buying when you pass it through customs custom might charge you 50% and if it's 50% that means you're paying $30 $30 or $35 in total if all that so when you come in and you come to sell it for 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 for, for $90 I mean come on are you overdoing it eh? are you overdoing it I even say 50% I don't think it's 50% for for clothing items and these things I do I, I could be wrong but you have shipping and all those kind of things there that that factoring in as in in as well, so that self could be I don't know, maybe the shipping costs barrels and things go up, so maybe that's why that's how it end up. <laughs> yeah, boy, you just stop all the dirty ways, boy. It's eleven dollars US. And you know, like if you put in design on it, no, brother, sister. I remember when I used to sell fire sticks, when I used to bring down fire sticks and I used to break them, I used to put all channels, all movies, all those kind of things there. On fire sticks for different people. I used to do that quite a lot back in the day, man. I think I should start that back. But anyways, so the fire sticks used to cost like fifty nine ninety nine for me. 
$59.99 because I want to get the quality ones and stuff. So buy them for $59 and then sometimes they would have discounts. I'll get some for $49.99. So I'll buy those for $59. When they have discount, buy some more and things. So come down Dominica, I'll come and sell them for $250. But I come and sell them for 250 brothers and sisters on the basis that I also break the fire sticks and I load them with stuff so that you wouldn't have to pay for cable and you wouldn't even need to go movies again because everything does come in on your TV right there. So whereas you can pay for basic channels or whatnot on thing, I used to make people get thousands upon thousands of live channels. You don't, you're not just only getting US, you get in UK, you get in Sri Lanka, you get in all over the world, brothers and sisters. Plus you get in movies right in your, in your, in your, in your thing. Good quality stuff right there. Live stream, everything and so forth. A number of families actually did this for in states and you know they stop use cable. They just use the, the, the fire sticks, sticks and other devices and you just pim that for them people and they good to go you know so i used to come and sell it but are you not doing nothing with it you don't even put in stickers on the thing you know you don't put a little crochet in there to make a little you know a little additional value <laughs> boy that is truly something else 11 by 267 again it's 29 29 and then i do it again by 271 30 $50. Or you can sell, I don't mind a little $50, $60. Or yeah, that would make sense. Profit, $70. And the bag there for 10 US, 6 US, and you sell it back for $90. Nah, yeah, all you going, all you going about Just like with the bar suits, all you taking everything for $5 from steel. And all $2.99. Some of them get in, say, buy one, get one free. Not so she knows, no, I myself don't know. But buy one, get one free if she knows to do, do that. You buy one, you get one, you want to sell both items for $90. <laughs> well, things are hard in the common world, everybody. Things are hard in the common world. Man, try to make a quick buck on anybody. And sometimes, you know what individuals do, do, guys? If they know you from somewhere, you come from overseas, and then the price is normally for, like, 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 let's say, $50. They will see, they don't put the price on the thing. They, they come to them. Okay. Oh, that person, okay. Well, if it's $50, I'll charge that person $65 for it. Trying to make a like, extra change on people. People try and do me that to it, I know. <laughs> I know it is. I say, well, wait a while, that person just paid that for you. Why, why am I paying this for it? I say, oh, you know, uh, I make a mistake. Lie, you don't make no mistake. You want to watch at me. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. You're going to post a thing for $100. <laughs> and then some people say, if it's not, if it's out of your budget, don't buy it. No, I don't never want to buy it. I'm not gonna buy it. I'm just saying that is bullshit. That's nonsense. Maybe some people would buy it, you know. Some people would still probably buy it. They put in, hey, $90. What? That looking thing. But they don't have no clue how much you spend for the thing. Hey, and sometimes these items not even quality stuff. People buying things on Sheen and other places, they buying cheap or going to, um, what do they call them? Kind of stuff, thrift stores, thrift stores, whatever they want to call it. And coming and sell things expensive in Dominica. <laughs> all you, all you know, easy, the boy. Yes, sir. I know you are small business, you want to make your money, you want to make your profit, but come on now, come on now. In a business, you have to know you're running your shit. You think people are shop on shit, people don't want to see that? Come on now. And I swear sometimes the only time, I, the only reason I've been buying clothes inside Dominica, like literally going and to a store and buying something, is because I didn't have time order it, you know. Yeah, me as well, I hardly, guys, I hardly buy things in Dominica. Eh? I just look it in front of me there and there's nothing that I have in front of me there. Pfft. I even seen my, my Pandora headphones. That was given to me in New York. As a, when I went to do an interview there, they gave me a Pandora headphones because of the company I want. Anyways, so stuff I've been given. <laughs> Boy, those are all my cameras. <laughs> None of them, but I bought a phone. I bought a phone in Dominica. He, but I bought a A01 phone in Lime Flow. Brothers and sisters. The 01 phone with A, A01 phone for 700 and something dollars. We At that time I needed a phone. So I had to go get the phone. 700 and boy you mad. And my better phone that I bought was cheaper. 
than the A014. <laughs> I have a pix boy. Let me the pixel I shoot in that video one anyways. Any well the pixel more expensive than the, the, the thing. But but anyways, bro, let's continue right there. Maybe I order it and you do for me time. Other than that? Or you never see my money. <laughs> <laughs> never. And yes, it doesn't matter that pass it straight. Whoop. And let me just make something blatantly clear. Mm. I am not somebody that do not support small businesses. If anything, I push to support small businesses. Reminds me of I'm that partner. It's Emil, Emil, when Emil was talking about the water brothers and sisters. Yeah, you support small businesses and this kind of things, but you must make small businesses take advantage of you. That is not a good thing. And I understand sometimes there's cost to the production of, of, of certain items. I get that. But in these hard economy times, when your salary doesn't elevate and you don't have much money, brothers and sisters, why on earth would you say I'm going to trade up? small business? Just like take for example Chinese. Chinese and other stores in the place, brothers and sisters. Usually other stores have more expensive stuff. Like let's say they have Arizona. In the in the in the in the normal local stores, the Arizona might cost seven dollars or six dollars. Whereas in the Chinese store, the Arizona might cost four fifty or five dollars or five fifty. In these hard economic times, knowing that you want Arizona brothers and sisters, you will say, boy, I need to go and support local, or you look at your budget. That is the thing, you know, brothers and sisters. People tend to look at their budget and what they want to spend it on. But it's also interesting. People will, will look at what they want to spend money on, what they don't want to spend money on. For example, people might say, boy, I want to go and spend any money to go and oh, carnival coming up. They go and, to go and buy costume and thing. They're spending thousands of dollars for voting. But when it comes on to, to the normal normal drinks, boy, I go and buy Chinese and buy that instead. So I think there's a, a double standard when it comes on to these kind of scenarios. But it still boils down to what the people want to spend their money on, what they want to enjoy and what they want, don't want to enjoy. Because if there's the options of, I'm sure if they have the carnival costumes or whatever, if the options to get a cheaper one this, and it's the same thing, they'll go for the cheaper one. True or false? The same thing for the drinks. Like there are people have when I did the video of Emil and we were talking about the same um um the water stuff. People were, were telling me the same sentiment. Yes, it's true. You try to support local, but you try to support local, but your money, your money have to you don't be adequate enough. I know Emil on the other hand, Emil might be doing better off than most people when it comes down to the finances. Maybe I don't know. He's a businessman, so I'm guessing you should be doing better than the number of persons he can be able to afford it. But whereas the normal man, the normal man would not be able, normal man woman no, be, would not be able to afford. See, hey, let me go and buy uh, five dollars water every every time, boy. I thirsty when they can get it for three dollars and three fifty. It's still quenching the thirst, brothers and sisters. It's still quenching the thirst. It's just the production that causes things to go up. But anyways, that self is another story. It's not uh, not for shin individuals only. This is happening across the board in big businesses in Dominica too. You think, hey, a lot of people purchasing this stuff might as well bring down the price. No! Then people have a high prices. On... <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, that is something else, we. And I literally saw the item, we, brothers and sisters. I saw that I went back on my phone to see if that is the same thing. Same thing, we. $29. They sent about 300 and something dollars. Then I had the, the, the other item. The, look, 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 it even front me. <laughs> when I saw that item in the, in, the, in the other store in Caneville, I couldn't believe it, eh? I say no, but maybe they should have sell at free, three fifty, four hundred maximum, not almost eight hundred dollars. You trying to buy the item four or five times, man, on one person when people are doing well in Dominica? That's crazy. So, but, but I support small businesses who are not trying to drown me with their prices, especially if they know that I can go somewhere else and get it for cheaper. Yeah. Competition is always a good thing, you know. When there's limited competition, you see, like I mentioned about the whole cost, com, co, buying costume thing. If you had different people doing the same costume at different prices, people who could afford don't care. Oh, let's buy that, man. I just buy that. I have the money. It doesn't really affect me. But people who are really concerned about the money will be like, you know what? I cannot afford this. Let me go and get this one. Or I might as well make my own. <laughs> make my own. <laughs> Here it is. Let's continue. You understand? Because I know people that have businesses and it's from Shin, they're taking their stuff and their prices are not so ridiculous. Hmm. I know people from Shin that, that buying things that I can go there anytime and shop for my stuff and buy my stuff without having to worry. But boy, if I go now and get it cheaper, and da, 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 da. Hmm. I can easily just get up and go and go on my stuff. 
I support small business not trying to drown me with their prices because you yeah, cannot tell me you're getting something for so cheap and then you want to come and tell me a hundred and ten, a hundred and twenty, a hundred dollars. That is ridiculous. Yeah, uh, I don't want to be ridiculous. Ridiculous. Yes, definitely. I, I, I understand the sentiment. But like I said before, that is the definite culture in Dominica. That's the definite culture in Dominica. Whoop. I wouldn't I wouldn't buy it. And before you come and tell me, oh, if you don't have money for it, don't buy it. No, that is the point. I don't have the money. I will not buy it. But even if you have the money and chicken, boy, I can get that cheaper. You yeah. can buy your thing cheaper. However, sometimes you have to look at quality and quantity, yeah, brothers and sisters, because you might end up, if you buy a set of cheap thing, and the cheap thing keep breaking, you might end up spending way more money than if you buy the quality stuff. But then again, I understand the sentiment. If it's the same thing, the same type of quality, and you're selling it so expensive, and you buy it so cheap, come on. That shouldn't be at all. <laughs> but at the same time, some will ever do it. Yeah. Another business owner is going to come and attack me and tell me, no, 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 no. I'm just saying, I still saying, all you overdoing it, I stand on what I say. I'm standing on business. Some of you are overdoing it with the prices that you're getting. And all you're getting, I think, for cheap online. Not on, on also, not to survive. On, on also, not to make all money. No, they want to be, not survive, no, they're trying to become millionaires. <laughs> millionaires. Are you buying an item for $5? I'm coming and sell it $90 now. What is that for me now, boy? $5 is what? $13, we. $13. And if you have to buy, well, let's say you're paying full when you buy passive for customs, you're paying 100% on it. I don't think that is the case, but you're paying 100%. 13 13 that is 26 26 Say shipping, shipping, put another $10 on that. 26, you put it 10, 36, brothers and sisters. Say 40. Use 40 to clear the whole thing, brothers and sisters. Bring it to Dominica and you come and sell it $90. <laughs> Why don't sell it $60? Sell it $60. I know customs can be wicked, but come on, no man. People don't have much money and think all you want to sell it is set up money. That's crazy. Because I, I, I'm looking at the, the changing in value when it comes down to the currencies, eh? That's why currencies is very important, brothers and sisters. Currency is very, very important. That's one of the first rules I understand under the big boys. Currency. If you know you live in a country that makes this monk, try your best to see how you can make funds in another currency that has a higher currency than you. So even if you were to make a thousand in Dominican, you make a thousand in England. Is pongs that there? Pongs is like almost what well I, th I think it's changing you now, but it's definitely higher than 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 things. So you end up getting almost three thousand EC dollars versus making a thousand in Dominica. You understand the sentiment, and sometimes you're even making make more overseas. You might end up making a thousand too for doing the same thing you're doing in Dominica, making a thousand dollars versus making a thousand two pongs. I think it's better, yeah, especially when you know you can you don't have to stay in that country for you to make the monies. It's very interesting when you understand currency, brothers and sisters. Very, very interesting. This is why I'm happy a number of Dominicans are actually working online. Yeah, they're making US dollars. Yeah, I know some of them. Don't ask me. <laughs> Don't ask me. Anyways, let's continue. That's crazy. That's crazy. And then they'll come and say, oh, oh, it doesn't complain. Only go buy them big stores and the big businesses. And da, 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 da. But it's for them small businesses. Only want to come and da, 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 da. But the big stores just have them cheaper. Well... When you talk about big stores, sometimes you go to the mall and then when you go to the mall, brothers and sisters, things more expensive in the mall. The mall sell does do the same thing too sometimes, you know. <laughs> because look, but the beautiful thing I like about the United States is if you go to the mall and there's an item that you see and you want it, right? You see the item. Let's say the item that you see on the thing is 50 something dollars. And you go on Amazon and you show them, hey, look, the item is $20. They will price match it for you, you know. They rather get this sale than, you know, if you do if you want to buy for 50 something dollars that's you but if you told me hey i see the same item look everything there this is 20 dollars i can either buy it there or buy it from you they will most likely give you that that seal right there when you price match it that's one of the things that that i i, I found out <laughs> that you can do i don't think you can do that in dominica now can you price match in dominica if you can i don't think it's everywhere or very very little places anyways who say we doesn't complain about the businesses? Them big businesses. What people are complaining? I just choose when I spend my money, you know. If I can't buy it, I can sleep. Whoop! And I go on for it cheaper. But at the same time, we can't be selling the same thing like China. Well, five US and come and sell for my night. Sell for me for ninety dollars. Like I'm crazy. I look like I'm mad. I look like I'm stupid. I don't like how it is, eh? 
Yeah, so I get a point, brothers and sisters. Stop trying to pimp the people. The people already don't have money. Sometimes it's all yourself that cause in the country <laughs> to not have money because all you voted for the same thing over and over. And then you complain and say, boy, things hard in the country. I have to try and put up a little price to see if I can survive. Why is you not putting yourself in the same state, causing the country not to have money because you would for the people who are causing the country not to have money by not doing things that they need to do to put in place to ensure that the country gets and receives money and allows the money to circulate, especially when it comes down to foreign businesses coming to Dominica. It's a poverty mind frame that is building in Dominica if it's not here already. It's a poverty thing, brothers and sisters. Anyways, guys, what are your thoughts, man? Leave your thoughts in the comment box. Comment box do. Do you think that this, you know, people just blowing things out of proportion? Do you think that, hey, I understand what you're saying, but that's how the people have to survive? Do you think people buy this stuff? Do you think that, that you know, what, what are your thoughts, man? What are your thoughts? Leave your thoughts in the comment box below. I think people need to raise their prices for sure so they can get profits, no doubt about it, as, especially after clearing customs. The new customs can be Satan himself. Customs is Belzy Bob himself, you know. Yes, man. Bells zip up that day. But, you know, you just have to hope and pray, brothers and sisters. Or if you have family members and so forth and so forth that bring stuff to you and you can get it, they're coming down for Christmas, they're coming from, from, from thing. You know, that's the time people want to buy stuff. Hey, your family coming down for Christmas, get some stuff from Shin. Bring them, bring it down in their suitcase. Come down. You know, bring the stuff for you and you can sell it at a reasonable price. If it's $5.99, you get it and it's $13 or let's say $15 EC. On the basis, you can say, okay, you know what, let me sell it for $30, $35, $40. That's a good profit you make in there. Because you bypass in customs. I think that would be a good thing, you know. Make your family members help you out if they want to help you out. If they want to tell you they come in, Dominica. <laughs> Anyways, guys, tune in for the next reaction I'll be doing a bit later on today on the BRBP TV YouTube platform. You definitely want to tune into that. So what are your thoughts on what I have? To, we spoke about there, especially what she had to say in that regard. What are your thoughts? Leave your thoughts in the comment box below, guys. And don't forget to check out the next link in the first comment in the comment box below, guys. It's your boy Mr. Lix on this here. Mr. Lix reacts. I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Remember, guys, be real, be positive.